another edition of Cardinal News Update. I'm joined by Cardinal News Editor, Dwayne Yancey, who's joining me from a coffee shop in Roanoke County. Um, always on the always on the run and looking for stories, but also a good Wi-Fi connection. So, Dwayne, <laughs> thanks for joining me today. I want to talk today about a, a story that you all have been following. Uh, it's of critical importance to all Virginians and especially those in Southwest Virginia. And this is the uh, this, the reporting you all have done on the invasion of the armored possums who are are, are meeting us here in our part of the woods. Um, tell me about, you know, how did you get onto the story of armadillo sightings in Southwest Virginia and Southside Virginia? I don't know about Southside actually, but I know Southwest and, and, uh, bring us up to speed. Sure. Well, we at Cardinal News are very proud to bring you the finest coverage of armadillos in the land. Um, you know, when we launched nearly a year ago, we set out to fill a void in, in news coverage, uh, hoping to provide in-depth coverage of the politics, economy, and culture of Southwest and Southside. Um, you know, we were thinking, you know, in-depth policy stories. But lo and behold, some of the most popular things we've done have been about armadillos. So there's a big armadillo fan club out there. Who knew? Um, yeah, well, and, and you know, I it was one of the first stories I read on Cardinal News. Of course, Cardinal News, uh, Cardinal News is a is a nonprofit that serves our region, uh, and when and with reporting, you'd really just can't get anywhere else. So this is just an example of that. Where have the armadillos been sighted, and how are they getting here? Sure. Um, well, in terms of how we found out, a, a friend at the Virginia Museum of Natural History in Martinsville or alerted me to this um, growing armadillo uh, infestation. Um, though that, uh, that, that's probably a high powered word there. Um, we have probably had uh, over the past decade, um, half dozen to a dozen sightings, probably closer to a dozen now in Southwest Virginia. Um, as far as South and West as Wise County to as far North as Roanoke. So far, these are all believed to be quote, rogue males, which sounds like a great name for a country music band. Um, so there's no evidence of a, of a breeding population in Virginia yet. Um, so, you know, it's probably not truly an infestation. Um, though the assumption from scientists is that eventually, you know, the females will get here and we will have baby armadillos and armadillos will be you know, at that point native to Virginia. And one of the things I learned from your reporting is that uh, I, I did not know that when armadillos do breed, uh, they almost always have a litter of four. So yes. That's, uh, so, I mean, I guess if, if they were to arrive in large numbers, um, much like they do in Texas, they would be kind of omnipresent and could, you know, could, I don't know whether they can do any damage or if they're pretty benign. Um, they can mess up your, the grill of your car. Um, they're not really considered a threat to the environment. Um, they, they basically, you know, grub for worms. Um, yeah, their, their defense mechanism, uh, which served them probably very well in olden times, was if they were confronted with the predator, they would jump, try to scare it. And, you know, that might have worked well with the saber-toothed tiger back in the day, um, but does not work well, you know, with a tractor trailer these days. Most of the sightings are, 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 are the result of, of finding a dead armadillo, not a live one. Is that right? Uh, correct. We, they, they've been found both ways, but a lot have been found as, as roadkill, smushed. Um, in terms of how they're digging here, um, well, they they walk. Uh, you know, we, we, we think of armadillos as a desert species from Texas, uh, and they are, but that's not their origin. They're originally from much further south um, in, in South America, and so they've been moving north for a long, long time. First sighting in Texas about 1849, so it's not like they've been there for millennia, uh, and they've been you know moving moving ever since very slowly. Um, they are now established in some of our neighboring states: North Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky. So some of these may have simply walked over the line. You know they do that kind of thing. They're also very notorious hitchhikers, um, either on trains or tractor trailers. Um, a lot of the ones in Virginia have been spogging near interstates, um, you know, which gives rise to the theory that, you know, maybe they were stowaways that, uh, you know, jumped off a truck stop. Yeah, you know, have been found along the I-81 corridor, not all, you know, there have been you know, some in, you know, Wise County and Buchanan County. 
Um, but yeah, you know, others and yeah, you know, Smith and With. Um, more recently, Pulaski, Montgomery, Roanoke. You know, we, we we do like to think of our region as an attractive place for people to move to. So I guess the armadillos are 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 doing the same. So um, just to wrap this up, what should people do if they see an armadillo? Um, leave it alone. Um, the the wildlife people say, you know, don't don't touch it. They do carry, you know, are known to carry disease. Um, so you know, certain, you know, for goodness sakes, don't uh, you know, tr- grab it and try to make supper out of it. Um, yeah, if you can document it, take a picture uh, and let the um, you know state wildlife authorities know or the Virginia Museum of Natural History. They do like to document these things. Um, but yeah, otherwise they are harmless. Um, you know, if you don't bother them, you know, they'll just, you know, waddle on their merry way. Well, that's great. And and I know that, you know, people might also think about sending that to uh, to the, new, I think it's news at cardinalnews.org, right? Just uh, just let, let you guys know what's what's happening. Well, um, uh, Dwayne, uh, I appreciate this. I know you're getting ready to go on vacation and thanks for making time for us today. Um, we'll be back in a couple of weeks with, uh, with, with, with more serious news from Cardinal news, but, uh, uh, uh thanks again. And, and, uh, and, uh, again, let's, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing my first armadillo in the wild. So hopefully that won't be too far in the future. Well, we we're happy to provide the, uh, the finest armadillo coverage around. All right. Well, you know, if you, if again, just uh, you folks, we've been, uh, we do uh, while we're running this, uh, this uh, update every week, every time we do that, do it, we do also run the address of Cardinal News. And if you will go there and subscribe, I know they would appreciate it. And, and we appreciate our partnership with you. So Dwayne, thanks again. Have a great vacation. We'll see you in a few weeks. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Thank mm-hmm. you.